We want to know if the following redox reactions will be spontaneous under standard conditions. So please make sure you have a standard electrode potential chart with you because you're going to need that in order to do this problem. So for the first one, I need to figure out which is reduced and which is oxidized. Well, I can write each one of the reactions, right? So I've got Ni2 plus goes to Ni solid. So the more positive side is the left, so that's where I need to add my electrons. And then I've got Zn solid goes to Zn ion. The more positive is the ion, so I'm going to add my electrons over here on the right. So I know that 2 to 0, that is being reduced. And this one is getting larger, so it is being oxidized. So where is Zn in relation to nickel? Well, it is below it. And since it is below it, this is a spontaneous reaction. What about this next one? Well, we're going to do it again, right? So I've got the calcium going to just calcium. So I've got the ion going to the solid. The more positive side is the left, so it's where I would add my electrons. We know what the Zn looks like. It's the same as it was before, right? It hasn't changed at all. Now, again, I want to look at it. Which one is oxidation and which one is reduction? Well, the calcium is being reduced, so this one's going to be the reduction. This one's going to be the oxidizing. Now, I need to compare them when I look at my chart. And this time, what do I notice about Zn compared to Ca? Well, Zn is above it. And since it is above it, it is not spontaneous.